Hey everyone, we are back. Alright, so now we're gonna head down here. We're gonna have to push the mine cart. So it opens up the door, which is cool. I love how they're using pulleys and me mechanisms like that and stuff to open everything. It's really cool. So now if you go up here, we're gonna find our giant oh, treasure giant chest of the level. So who are we gonna bring out? There's only one undead giant, so duh. We're bringing out Eyebrawl. I've got my eye on you. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open. But first, I think I'll switch my Skylander so that way they can obtain the money. There's nothing worse than a giant getting money when they don't need it. They are maxed out, There's dude. Enough is enough. Call it a day, my friend. So let's open it up. Boom, there we go. Alright, nothing from those barrels. That was a waste of an attack. Alright, so now we're going to have to change this uh, train track path so that way we can get it in line with the uh, minecart so it actually does its job and goes in that little pit. But I don't know if you noticed it, there's something over here that if you go down, there's something down here. Wonder where that could be. Magic stronger, we've got that covered. I believe that hurts you, so be careful. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing down here. The joke is on you, because we completely went here for no reason. But the reason why I'm showing this is because when we go back up, there is a whirlpool full of this toxic ooze. And if you, by so, um, I mean, if you by some chance, uh, fall into it, you will just fall right down in this hole. So it really sucks, because it doesn't do anything for you. It just is annoying and an obstacle at best. So be careful, because this is exactly where you will end up. You will end up in the dump. To the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. That's right, I did it. So, there's that whirlpool I was telling you about right there. Careful not to go in there, because like I said, it, it will suck if you have to go in there. So, we could get the treasure. Do we want to be a go-getter? I guess we do. There we go. So now we're gonna head over here. That box refuses to blow up. Oh my, that's a glitched box, clearly. I shot that three times, you all saw it. All right, so now we got some more enemies over here. Shoot my monkeys, because I keep forgetting to use them. They're an amazing attack. Those spinny things are a nightmare. Oh. They mean business. Oh, we level two. Beautiful. We're only at three, though. Real impressive out of 20. Alright, so now we have to pull this lever. Alright, uh, that built us a bridge. So now we're going to have to pass the crane. Do not get hit, because it will hurt you. Or it actually... No, it won't knock you off, but it can possibly risk you getting hurt. We're going to go over here. Keep following the path. And now off to the right, you're going to see an elemental gate, which this Only time is an air slash water one, one, which I think is a very cool combo. So we are going to play around with the combos and become Wasp Jet. Eight legs, Eight legs and no pegs with the jet on my back. All right. So now let's see how they played around with the air and water combo with this level. Okay, so we got the ripples of water. And then how are they doing the air thing? Okay, they got like wind, I guess. That's what they're doing. Maybe? I don't... I can't really tell. They, I mean, they make it look like they're in the air, so I guess that's where they're going with it. But it's not very airy. Okay, now we're talking. That looks like more air than anything. Oh! See, I hate those greebles, man. They're annoying. You're not the only one that has projectiles, my friend. Yeah, I've got bubbles with piranhas. Beat that, son. It still just looks like a lot of water, though. Like, it really doesn't look like air. Alright, is everyone dead? We all good? We all happy? Okay, cool. Let's go back up. And we're not done yet. These Greebles just refuse to die. Cool, cool. Alright, so now we should be good to get our present. 
And you know what that means. We sing a song. We just got a present. We just got a present. Oh, I got a star as well. We got a bonus mission map. I can't wait to start filming those for you guys. They're going to be fun. I just got to find the right paths for my Skylanders before I go and uh, carelessly just put on stats for them that they don't need if I'm going to reset them. That was a fun time, so now let's keep going. Alright, so let's see what awaits us this way. Oh, I see the bird. Getting a little freaked out. Okay, so if you see over there, there is a toy train, so we need to be quite cautious of that. We need to get a minecart down there somehow. So, you're going to have to play around with the uh, train track guide, like uh, guiders in order to get everything done correctly without missing anything. First, you got to kill all these Archeans, and then you got your Greebles up here. They fail to realize they're messing with a water air element. Come on now. Killing me. Alright, so if you don't if, yeah, if you do not move the uh, the trail, you will have it push all the way down here, and then you can get your train. You just hop up on it, jump. Not like that. You actually jump. There we go. Jump. And there's your train. I believe we're at four out of five. So we're doing really good. Now you're gonna have to push the mine cart back up. Yes, this is gonna be hard labor. Even Skylanders have to put in the work, you know? So, let's see. This grieve oh my, these guys are really starting to take me off. <laughs> Just die. There we go. Boom. Good stuff. Alright, so now you have to switch the train track so that it doesn't repeat the same path. So push it. And now it should open the door this time instead, which is what we're aiming for. It's still going, man. That's a long track. See? Right down there. The door opens up. Beautiful. I got hit by a cactus. Good stuff. Alright, is there anything over here at all? Life is stronger, so that means we're going to have to put on a life guy. Oh, and there's a climb zone, too. Oh, perfect. So, who are we going to bring out, then, for this climb zone? Hmm. I think we're going to bring out Boom Buckler. He's become one of my new favorite combos. Not sure why, I just feel he fits, and hit Washbuckler's base with the Soul Gem with the Tentacle Whipping Attack is just brilliant. It's overpowered like crazy. So this is not easy, because as you can see, there are buzz saws everywhere, and then they're dropping barrels like they're going out of style. They're just insane. Like, it's not Whoa. easy, look at that. 100 damage you lose from just a buzz saw, it's crazy. Just a buzz saw in real life that would kill you. Oh, I can't go that way, so we gotta keep going the other way. Make sure to really utilize the uh, A button when needed to get out of those sticky situations where you got buzz saws coming your way. It's a good thing they give us food, man. This would be a really hard challenge, because you would die so many times. Just, uh... Oh, nice, we got two gems, man. We're on a roll. Oh, oh boy. Double whammy there. But we had a slice of pizza, and as we know in Skylanders, that equals health. Alright, let's see. Yeah, watch out for those mining carts. Some guy just aimlessly decided, oh yeah, let's throw a mining cart down there, you know? Because he's not already walking up a building or anything. Oh boy, I got hit head on with that one. That would have sucked. Alright, phew, we're done. Look how happy he is, man. He's like a kid at Christmas time. So we will see what we just unlocked. I can't wait to get Spy Rise and try him out in the climbers. It's gonna be so cool. All right, so we got a legendary treasure. It's a barbecue, I think. Ah, oh, five elemental food boosts. Come on. Success is mine. Boom. Whatevs. Alright, so I think we gotta talk to him next. But who do I wanna be? We're gonna switch it up just a little bit. And we're gonna become Zulu. Because hey, life is stronger here. Bird? Because one landed right up there. You know what they say. Sharks gotta keep moving. 
All right, so basically this guy's telling us that the bird is right there, and that's gonna be our boss battle number one. There's gonna be another one. Trust me. Cause who are you? Who do you think you're chasing? You're chasing a boss. I don't know if any of you realize that. He's gonna pay off the top guy. Dude means business. Now this bat, yeah, this battle is a little more tough. Not too tough. If you have the elemental boost. You just gotta be very careful because the bird gets insane. But Zulu's a uh, awesome character, so he should be able to handle this. Once the bird gets the low health, like I said, she's gonna shoot this humongous like laser beam, and it's gonna kill you. You gotta be careful. Oh, twice there. I can just love the shockwave, man. It's one of my favorite things to do with bosses. See, that's the laser beam that killed me. Yep, Zulu died. I apologize. He died in the making of this movie. If there's a drill, We've got Grill there's Loop, though, to take the lead with his drill attack. He should own this bird now. Look at that. The damage is just flowing out of him. Boom. But yeah, that laser attack is no joke, man. It KO'd Zulu. Like, come on. Oh man, he has like one hit left and he's gone. What is up with that? Alright, here we go. He should die right here. Boom! We just freed Whiskers now. Which is the name of my cat, actually. There we go. Look at Whiskers. Happy as can be again. She look really disturbing. Like I love the detail they put into the evil eyes minions. Like it looks really cool. The purple looks great. You don't really see purples like an evil color. So I like how they're playing with that. They could have easily just went black and red eyes, you know. But they didn't. So I believe if we go into this little shack in the left, you're just gonna get money and nothing else out of it. So let's go in and waste some time because <laughs> I think that's what it does. But I thought it was important that everyone sees that there's nothing in there. Because if I edit it out, people are gonna be like, "W drums, what's in there?" I mean, there's like a heap of money in here. There's nothing really special. But this is a cool thing for you to check out. Scorp Soul Gem that we picked up. Ironic, isn't it? Because we just picked it up. <laughs> There's a funny story behind that one. Dude, his just paint job looks so sick. The brown with the light, like lime green, looks sick. So now let's become the minecart again and go through another crazy adventure. This is where it gets tougher. There's gonna be a lot more mines and obstacles. I love it. It's like you're skateboarding. Well, then again, if you know a little bit of history about the Vicarious Vision Brothers, they actually started uh, the Tony Hawk series. So, you know, they could have easily taken their own idea and put it in the Skylanders because it was a big seller, was it not? Everyone loved it. I love the N64 version. I think it's a great game series. I can't skateboard to save my life, and it was still great. Alright, so now we've got to do another mini boss. There's mini bosses out of the wazoo in this game. Especially in this level. But they're really easy if you have the elemental boost. So we need life again. Which is probably why we're not doing so much damage to this guy right now. Yeah, let's switch him out. This is not working. I'm going to put on one of the older ones that everyone's probably been dying to see. Ninja Stealth Elf, there she is. Let's see her in all of her uh, goodness. She's gonna destroy these guys. Like, once she gets on her poke blade path, you're gone. Like, that's all there is to it. She's gonna own you. Let's take a peek. All right, so there's a tech gate over here, so we need a tech person. So let's do countdown. Alright, so now let's enter the gate. <laughs> and listen to what this guy has to say. Since the train system has been derailed, oh, I love the purple been detail on, on the shark. Beautiful. If you grab that shifting sphere and toss it, it'll teleport you. Wanna try it out? 
So basically what he's saying is this is a teleportation ball. You use it and you throw it and it'll teleport Skylanders you to wherever the, the thing lands. So there, throw it, zone. boom. Teleport you there. It's a very unique idea. I've never seen something like that. They just keep churning out good ideas. I don't know how they do it, man. It's crazy. So you got to pick up the ball and just keep, uh, you know, do that. No. Come on, Dan. There we go. Get your head in the game. So what's funny though is if you throw the teleport ball on an enemy, it hurts them, but also it just blows up, so you have to throw it again. So there's another teleport ball. This was a bit trickier for me to figure out. You literally have to jump on top of the ro rotating, revolving gear and throw your teleport ball up within the, the right nick of time or else you'll fail. Alright, we missed that train, but we'll get the next one. Could you imagine if you could just, like, float on a revolving gear? How cool would that be? You know? Crazy. So now we're gonna hop up in here, do the same exact concept. Be careful about hitting an enemy, because like I said, if it blows up, it'll just make you need to get it again. Countdown in butt owned because these arcane guys are pretty good. I don't know if you remember, they were from the Glumshanks boss battle we did in Chapter 4, Rampant Ruins. Nice. Now, what that teleport did all the way to the left back there is it took you back to the very beginning. So I was kind of ticked off when that happened because we had to redo everything. This is on the footage, so I had to edit that out. Very close though. Woohoo! There it is. Thanks, Skylander. There's our present. Let's see what we got. Why don't you keep it as a thank you? Last legendary treasure. Oh, I know what this one is. This is the 10 plus gold boost, baby. That is a must have for any legendary Correct treasure it. collector out there. It's a must to equip. Do not hesitate if you get that. Alright, so now we have to be an Earth guy. So we're going to take out Slobber, too. Slobber Slobber. He's now got his soul gem. His jaw looks so cool. So we're going to walk him over there. And now we're at a spin zone. So that was completely useless bringing out Slobber, too. I'm sorry about that. I wish I had Doomstone to show you for the top... Thing, but we can't do it yet. All we can do is free range at the moment. I really have to change that hat on. It just looks awful. So here we go. Into the spin zone we go. Ah, oh, these black boxes are annoying. Come on. Ah, there we go. One down out of three. Remember, if you die, you have to do all three all over again, so don't die. They just barricade him more and more, man. I was telling my roommate this, so I was thinking, like, what is it? Like, what a, like, uh, gave you, like, the, the idea to just do a whole spin, like, top thing. Like, it's, it's really a crazy but cool idea. It's very playful. It's just very unique. Like, you're a spinning top. So that's the chaos statue that we need to blow up somehow. Oh boy, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Oh no! There we go, we got in there and we destroyed it. That's symbolically saying we're gonna take you down, chaos. Alright, so that's done, which is nice. Let's see what we get. Got two gems, not bad, not bad. Let's see what we, we got the second hat. My roommate put this on Washbuckler later on. He really likes this hat. Because it's got a decent amount of armor. It just kind of looks like a princess hat. So I'm kind of against putting that on my male Skylanders. I'm sorry. But I just feel that looks weird. But over here, if you climb all the way up, you're going to get your last toy train, which is really exciting. So then we'll be done that. So let's put on someone uh, who's Earth Descent. So we've got Slobbertooth. 
watch him take everyone out with his new soul gem. Boom, boom, boom. Doing some serious heavy damage. Alright, there we go. Last toy train is ours. And now if you roll in this pit, this was a complete accident, but one of the best accidents that I ever did in this level. Because now we just got the last treasure chest. Who would have guessed that would have led us there? It was just this was like, whoa, you know? Crazy. And you just fight some enemies there. I skipped that because there's, there's no need for you to see that. It's literally the same thing we just did with that last pit of death. <laughs> so get some cash. We gotta kill this Gribble before he kills me. Because I'm just a sitting duck right now. Alright, he's dead. So now what you have to do here is you're gonna have to push both mine cards, but you're gonna have to switch the uh, trail once you use the uh, one trail up. There's two different kinds of trails. You gotta destroy the guards and stuff first, because they're gonna get really annoying very fast. This, this Grievel with the cannon is irritating, because you can't kill him until you get the minecart there. So we're just gonna push the first minecart, we're gonna switch this so it reunites with the uh, track. We're gonna push this, and it should uh, open that uh, thing up. See, we can't kill him yet, he's annoying the heck out of him. So now we have to click it again. Bring it back to normal. And now we're going to push this minecart all the way down. So that way we can hop up on it and kill this Greeble because he's driving me nuts. Finally, peace of quiet from that Greeble. Jeez. Alright, so let's get some dynamite. There shouldn't be anything back there besides just a couple gems, if that. So we're gonna hop over here before we die with the dynamite. Boom. <laughs> Pun not intended, it just worked like that. Ha! So let's get that pizza before I die. Good. Oh, that maxed me, nice. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Got some jewels. Oh, there's another mini boss again, just chilling there, waiting for us. He's gonna regret fighting Slobbertooth with Soul Gem, though, man. My jaw means business. Look at that. Oh, kapow! Or as they like to say, Kung Fu Panda, skidoosh! One of my favorite lines from that movie. Love you, Jack Black! Um, there we go, destroyed that Greeble, good stuff. Now, before we go in the door. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. If you did go past that on the right, there was food and stuff, but nothing big. Now we're going to do the boss fight. My precision mechanism of Look at this thing, man. He's got a robot crab. I love it. And it will hurt too. Baron von Shellshock. Such a cool idea. They're really playing with the animal concept, and I love it. So basically, he's just going to summon a bunch of enemies. You destroy those waves and get past the bombs, and he's gonna accidentally shoot out dynamite. You shoot that, blow up his shield, and he gets unconscious, and you just beat the heck out of him. Very straightforward uh, battle. He gets harder just because he summons a lot more stronger enemies, and they become annoying because you're still getting bombs thrown at you. It's just tedious. See, look, they're like already hatching out of the ground, and I'm still trying to kick him in the butt. You know what I mean? I guess they forgot though, I can eat enemies, so joke's on you, fools. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked over here right now. Come on. See, look, I'm trying to... Look, I, I'm barely gonna get any hit. Look, look. Give me one more hit. But because they would not leave me alone, it, it didn't happen. It's a no-go. Alright, you're dead now, boss. Boom! And what's annoying is he drops all these energy dots for experience, but you can't pick up like half of them. But so there we go. Uh, uh yeah, we died once, so we didn't get three stars. It sucks. But whatever. We leveled up to ten, which is cool. We've got all the unlockables, so we're good to go. Enjoy the story. Ignorant cartoffelgeist! You have not seen the last of Baron von Shellshock! What did he just call us? <laughs> Ignorant potato faces. Uh huh. Uh huh. But as an insult, right? Yeah, it's not a common endearment out this way. We kept our end of the deal, Sharpfin. 
Are you going to help us or not? Not only am I taking you in my personal ship, but as a special thanks, I'm sending my boys over to Woodboro to get to work for my man here. Well, hey, I'm not your man. If I'm anybody's man, it's me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You ride will be tweaked and ready to blow some rotors off in no time. Hello! I am in the middle of something out here. You could at least pay attention, you Kaiser Heistellers. Hey, watch this. <whistles> so, who wants lunch? I could eat. So glad to see that you've returned safely. All right, so now we're gonna talk to Rufus again because he's got a couple things to tell us. And then we'll be done this video, which will be fun. So then we can get on to the next part of this adventure. Listen, Skylander, I brought you a gift, a brand new fishing He got us a fishing pole. If you've seen on uh, the new Skylander quests that they can do, some of them involve, I think all of them involve you doing like a fishing pole thing. You have to take like fish out of the pond. That's how you'll do it, I believe. So they literally lay it out for you, which is well, nice, I but I have no, stuff, uh, so like, initiative, I don't know, no, no uh, drive right now to do that, that because, like I said, I don't know the paths yet for my guys, so there's no point in me doing all that extra stuff when I don't know who I want to choose for paths. So I want the best kind of guy, you know? So we're going to go all the way down here, and I don't know if you see that, we can now use this legendary treasure post, and you know what I'm going to put on there? 10 plus gold, heck yeah, it's a must. Now we're gonna go down here and go a fishing. Rank up. And we'll get to that gate that you saw just a second. So we're gonna reel in all these fish. There's six of them. I kind of fast forwarded this just because it's a very tedious thing to watch after a while. Four fish. Five fish. Six fish. Good stuff. Alright, so then after all that hard work, you get a gem of 60 cents. Well worth it. You now over here, we've got elemental that. gates, which is really cool. So they're kind of playing with the whole giant's gate thing that they did in the uh, sequel. Which was a pain in the butt after a while, trying to get that little bit of treasure. But it was a good amount of treasure, if you remember my cheat video I did on it. Now, you just break off whatever um, Skylander uh, element you need. You can do whatever you want with it. You just get rid of them. And we'll have a special surprise at the end. I won't say what, because I want it to be a surprise. Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, now would it? So what is that, my friends? That is a soul gem. But to who is the question? It is to Smolderdash. Boom, baby. Look at that. Mm. Focus, focus. I really gotta stop watching Emperor's New Groove, man. I keep quoting Boom Baby all the time. Alright, so here's our story scroll as well. It's just chilling there. Let's take it away, Eon. Before going to the volcano to replenish the magic in Skylands, the ancient elementals gather in Woodboro in front of the Great Hollow. Not to be confused with the Under Hollow, which is for fishing. All right, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next chapter guide, and God bless. Peace!